So here comes the dimensional analysis. Our goal is milliliters per feeding. And when I do dimensional analysis, I focus on my goal. Milliliters is at the top, feeding is at the bottom. I'm going to start my dimensional analysis with something that mentions milliliters. Yet our problem does not mention milliliters at all. Yet it does talk about ounces and there is a conversion. 30 milliliters is one ounce. So notice I am putting milliliters at the top, 30 milliliters per one ounce that goes at the bottom. We need to get rid of ounces. And our problem does talk about ounces. In one ounce of that formula, there are 25 calories. So one ounce over 25 calories, ounces cancel out. Now we need to get rid of calories. Our problem mentions calories again. Do not repeat the 25 calories. But the problem also says 100 calories per kilogram per day. There's that double slash, weight based, calories cancel out. And now we need to get rid of kilograms and day because we want milliliters per feeding. It doesn't matter which word you get rid of first, kilograms or day. I'm going to get rid of kilograms and I'm going to bring in that eight kilogram infant. Eight kilograms, one infant, kilograms cancel. The one is just a placeholder down there, but it does represent that one infant. And now we need to get rid of the word day. And there's two ways we can approach this. One way is to convert days to hours and then hours to feeding. What does that mean? Well, one day is 24 hours. Days cancel out. We've got hours to get rid of. Well, the problem states the infant's going to get fed every three hours. So three hours per feeding. Notice everything that we've gotten rid of here. All of our words cancel out with the exception of milliliters at the top, feeding at the bottom. That is our goal. And if you multiply all of your top numbers and divide by all of your bottom numbers and press equals one time, you will get 120 milliliters per feeding. Now, another approach is if you did recognize that every three hours means eight feedings per day. We can actually change those last two fractions a little bit. And instead of us saying one day is 24 hours and three hours per feeding, we can say in one day, the infant's going to get eight feedings. We still met our goal of milliliters per feeding. And if you multiply all those top numbers and divide by all of your bottom numbers, you still get 120 milliliters per feeding. If you want to see more problems like this, you see my website at the top of the video, and you can also join my Facebook group. My Facebook group devoted solely to math, and it's all about pre-nursing and nursing. Go ahead and join if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found this helpful.